Pipes Editor is a powerful composition tool that lets you aggregate, manipulate, and mash up content from around the web in an intuitive visual interface. The editor consists of the following three panes, the library, canvas, and debugger. The library pane on the left-hand side lists available modules and saved pipes. The modules have been grouped into categories based on their functionality. Each of the modules perform a single specific task, such as retrieving a data source or translating items from one language into another. The canvas pane in the center is the main work area for assembling and testing your pipe. You build and edit pipes by moving modules onto the canvas from the library pane and wiring them together with your mouse. You can do this by clicking the output terminals of any module, then clicking on the input terminal of the module you want to feed that data to. Let's give it a shot. The editor will flash compatible terminals that can be connected together in orange to indicate which connections are permitted. You can mouse over the terminals of any module to see what kind of data that terminal expects to emit or receive. To sever a connection between modules, click on either of the terminals at the end of a wire. A small scissor icon will appear. Many modules have configurable parameters and input fields. You can fill these in like form fields or supply them with appropriately typed input from another module. The debugger is a resizable pane at the bottom which lets you inspect the pipe output at various stages in your pipe. Let's go ahead and start building our first pipe. Using the fetch site feed module, you can enter a URL for any website. It will try to auto-discover any RSS, RDF, or Atom feed that's embedded in the, that URL's website. The module will fetch all the items for the first feed that it discovers. In this example, we fetched all of the content from the Yahoo Sports RSS feed. I'm going to demonstrate using the filter module that we can restrict what content passes through this pipe. By wiring these two modules together, I've created a data connection that allows content from one module to pass to the other. I'm only going to permit content that flows through my pipe that contains the keyword tennis in any of its RSS item descriptions. The pipe is now only emitting one item that matches the rule defined in the filter module. I'm going to add an additional rule, this time allowing items containing the keyword football to also pass through. I'm going to make one additional change permitting any of these rules to filter through. Then I'm going to refresh this module, and you'll notice that there are now additional items being emitted. All pipes must end by being connected to the pipe output module. I'm going to complete this pipe by making sure all of them are connected together. Then I'm going to title my pipe and hit save. Since I want others to be able to discover and potentially copy my pipe, I'm going to publish it. This allows it to be indexed by search engines and searched for by other users on pipes.yahoo.com. I'm going to also add a brief description so that people know what this pipe does and add some additional convenient tags. Once I hit publish, I'm going to run it and take a look at this pipe's hosted run page. Pipes offers a web-based interface that allows you to run a pipe that you or someone else has built and published. It's a useful mechanism for quickly determining what type of content a pipe outputs. It's also a jumping off point for subscribing to a pipe in your favorite feed reader, viewing how the pipe was constructed, or cloning it so that you can further tweak it yourself. In this example, I've just added my pipe to my Yahoo page. 